Hey YouTube, Blue and Leaf here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install a Xbox 360 driver so that you can play Skyrim um, on your Mac, which you can do by going to this website, Porting Team, and going over to Dan is the Man's page and installing his wrapper. He has a tutorial for that himself. But I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to install this specific driver or emulator itself so that you may play Skyrim on your Mac with an Xbox 360 remote. Now, this link has been provided by Elrin, or Elron, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. You will find it in the description, this one right here. You're going to want to download that from here. You just click on this and it will start downloading. It's, and you're going to want to click OK on that because it's going to download. Now, once you do that, you are going to minimize that. You're going to go to the wrapper itself, show original, package contents. You want to go to the following. Uh, this is right here, the drive C is a shortcut, but just in case we're going to be opening contents, resources, drive C, program files, Steam, then Steam apps, common, Skyrim, open that you're going to arrive in this page and you want to do the following the file you just downloaded you unzip it you open it you highlight these copy paste keep both that should be done and you're going to go back to the website to the previous page in which here tetsu provided the configuration for the Xbox 360 remote itself. You're going to highlight that. Wait. There you go. Command C, copy paste. And copy itself. Copy itself. Then go back to the Skyrim folder. You're going to want to open x360.ini with text in it. You open it. Here it says pad 1. You highlight from here all the way down to where it says, see, pad 2, here, you erase, you delete, command V to paste, command S, so you can save it, close out of that. Now we're going to minimize these two, close that, and we're going to open Skyrim. Now, once you already have Skyrim installed through legal terms, instead of getting a crack download which I do not support at all. Once you have finished downloading Skyrim, you're going to want to make sure you have the following. An Xbox 360 wireless driver, an ex sorry not a driver, an external adapter, and you're going to want to make sure that you have something called the Teddy, Bo Teddy Boggle Xbox 360 controllers installed. Now you can find this in teddyboggle.net which I will provide in the description so you may download yourself. Once you have this installed, you're going to connect your Xbox remote and it should appear in the Teddy Boggle section. Close out of this, open up Skyrim. Go ahead and click play. There we go, using my remote. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it or it helped you out. And if you have any questions or comments, you may put them in the comments section because that's what it's designed for, right?